hurling stones at Christians seems these days to be par for the course. In part, that's because of some of the overt hypocrisy that goes on amongst God's people. Eh, fair enough, no one likes hypocrisy. But actually, it runs much deeper than that. Hi, I'm Bernie Diamond, and welcome again to Fresh. To many of those who don't believe in Jesus, our faith in Him is deeply offensive. And I get that. Before I became a Christian, let me tell you the things those Christians said and did, even the good things, in fact, especially the good things, offended me to the core. I hated them. I persecuted them. I threw stones at them. And as you stand back from that, you have to ask yourself, why? Short answer, because their goodness shone a light on the darkness in my soul, a darkness that had wrapped its tentacles around every part of my life. And like a cancer, it was impossible for me alone to break free. So I defended it. I clung to it for dear life. And that's exactly what was going on in this little episode when Jesus said, the Father and I are one. Again, the Jews there picked up stones to kill him. But he said to them, the many wonderful things you've seen me do are from the Father. Which of these good things are you killing me for? And kill him, they eventually did. Look, none of us likes to have rocks hurled at us for our faith in Jesus, but that's exactly what he predicted would happen. None of us wants to be crucified like Jesus, and yet he's called us to take up our cross and to follow him. Don't be surprised when they throw stones at you. That's God's word fresh for you today. <music>